magnetic forces. Here we have a rod hanging from a couple of wires and we're going to determine the tension in one of the wires. First thing we're going to do is uh, figure out what the force is on that rod due to the interaction of the current through the rod and the magnetic field. So we've got a current moving through a magnetic field and the force on that current is I L cross B and so what do we have here we've got the current we've got them just gonna go ahead and worry about the magnitude right now the length of the rod the strength of the magnetic field and the sine of the angle between them and in this case that's 90 degrees because the current is moving in this direction to the right through the rod and the magnetic field is up out of the page it's uh, vertically uh, it's uh, perpendicular to the page and the current is in the plane of the page so the sine of 90 degrees is the angle between those two so that's just I L B and what do we have first we have to find the current we know V is equal to IR, so I is V over R, and we've got 30 volts and 2 ohms, so what is that, 15 amps. The length is uh, given as half a meter. Make sure you're in meters. It's given in meters, so that's fine and magnetic fields should be in Tesla so we can plug those in and we get our force is 18.75 newtons and now let's think about direction the current is moving to the right the magnetic field is up out of the page so when I do my right hand rule I get that the force points towards the bottom of the page the magnetic force so I'm gonna go ahead and draw a free body diagram here's my rod I've got a magnetic force down towards the bottom of the page. I also have the weight of the rod pulling down towards the bottom of the page and I've got the two wires the tension in the wires pulling up on each side of the rod Okay, so some of the forces is MA. I've got 2T has to equal my magnetic force plus my weight. So I'm only interested in the, the tension in one of the wires. So the tension in one wire four kilograms times 9.8 meters per second squared and I get a tension of 29 newtons okay so it's the magnetic force is the main thing you're trying to find here make sure you've got the right hand rule right and you understand that the force is towards the bottom of the page and then it's just drawing a free body diagram and figuring out the sum of the forces.